Epiphanis clear varnishes goes beyond solely leisure marine use. Virtually every wooden object can be enhanced and beautified with Epiphanis varnish. There are various types of varnish. The Epiphanis varnish range goes from the classic one component varnishes to modern two component polyurethane based varnishes. The choice of varnish strongly depends on the type of wood that needs to be varnished, the wood construction, and working conditions. In this video, we will show you how to degrease, sand, and finally varnish this classic steering wheel. First of all, completely clean and degrease the object to be varnished. For proper degreasing, use Epiphanis spray thinner for paint and varnish. For proper adhesion, good sanding is essential. Bare wood can be sanded with sandpaper P180. Existing varnish layers, like on this steering wheel, are sanded with a finer grit, P240. After sanding, degrease once more with spray thinner for paint and varnish to remove all sawdust. Surface preparation is time consuming, but it is essential for the best final results. Areas that shouldn't be varnished are masked with good quality masking tape. Make sure you tightly adhere the masking tape on the surface. For best results, use a soft long haired bristle brush. To easily remove loose hairs, stroke the brush over a heavy grit sandpaper. To avoid forming bubbles, lightly stir the varnish. Pour the needed quantity in a mixing cup and fully close the container. Turn the varnish can upside down once. This will seal the can and keeps the varnish in good condition. It is best to use multiple smaller cans instead of using a small quantity from one larger can. We add a small quantity of mahogany stain to the varnish. This stain is highly concentrated and will give a warm mahogany feel. For extra wood penetration, we also use 5% brush thinner for paint and varnish. Mix the varnish, stain, and thinner together thoroughly. Always work systematically. By using primarily the tip of the brush, allow the brush to do its job. Do not fully dip the brush into the varnish. Epiphanous varnishes have a long open time and will always flow onto a smooth surface. Therefore, Epiphanous varnishes are easy to apply for everybody. Distribute the varnish evenly over the surface. The varnish will flow by itself. Be sure to apply sufficient wet film. Avoid applying too thin of a coat. Allow every varnish coat to cure for 24 hours at 18 degrees Celsius. At higher temperatures, the varnish will cure faster. When temperatures are lower, drying takes longer. Ventilation and relative air humidity have a great impact on the curing process. Between varnish coats, lightly sand with P400. In this case, we're using a fine pad Scotch-Brite. By light sanding, a fresh coat will have better bonding. After sanding, always degrease the surface with spray thinner for paint and varnish. By applying more varnish coats, the UV protection is greatly improved. Sufficient dry film also creates a longer lasting deep luster and will prevent discoloration of the wood. To avoid thickening of the varnish, do not take varnish directly from the can. A full body varnish system on bare wood consists of at least seven full varnish coats. For areas with high UV exposure, additional layers are advised. Remove masking tape without damaging the varnish. A small knife may assist you.
The steering wheel is finished now. Allow the varnish to continue curing for about a week. Visit the Epiphanis website for more information. The website offers step-by-step -step explanation on how to build up a varnish system. You will also find numerous tips and tricks for achieving the best final results.